O Canada Conversations are a creation of IOM, made available under the Creative Commons 3.0 IGO. Please refer to the text of the audiobook for the copyright mark and the full legal code. Funded by Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. Financé par Immigration, Refugees et Citoyenneté Canada. O Canada Conversations, Dialogue Number 15. Permanent Residents, Rights, Responsibilities. The following dialogue is related to Unit 2 Travel from the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. For more information, refer to the following units of the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. 2.13. At the Airport. 2.14. Tools at the Airport. 2.20. Your Permanent Resident Status. 2.21. Rights and Responsibilities in Canada. 2.22. Permanent Residents. In this dialogue, Ali arrives at the airport in Canada and meets an airport reception staff member who takes him to meet the immigration officer, then to baggage claim to retrieve his baggage, and then through customs. At the port of entry, he is given explanations about his permanent resident status, rights, and responsibilities. Ali arrives at the airport in Canada. He walks out of the plane and into the airport. An airport reception staff member greets Ali. Hello, I am an airport reception staff member. I am here to help you. Welcome to Canada. Ah, uh, thank you. It feels great to finally be in Canada after so much time dreaming about it. How did you recognize me? I saw the IOM bag you were carrying there. I see. I did try to make it visible. It definitely helps us recognize you. How was your trip here? Oh, it was long and tiring, but I tried my best to sleep on the plane and during my stopovers. It is hard to sleep when you are anxious. I ended up reading the whole Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook all over again. Sometimes flying can be stressful, especially if it is your first time. You must be tired. I was quite stressed. I was afraid that I would miss my connecting flight or not be able to find the departure gate. But the IOM staff at the airport were very helpful and I was able to make it through the whole trip without any big problems. That is good to hear. Now we will get you through immigration and then get your baggage. After that, you can go to your temporary accommodation and get some rest. I cannot wait until I can rest in a bed. Follow me. I will take you to the immigration area. What will happen at the immigration area? You will go through a brief interview with an officer. Then you will be asked to sign some documents. When you are finished doing that, you will become a permanent resident with the right to live in Canada. I was in great danger and had to leave the country quickly. And sadly, I had to leave my brothers back home. Should I tell the immigration officer about it? Yes, you should. When you talk to the immigration officer, Make sure to tell them if you have family members living in other countries. For example, they will need to know if you have a partner, spouse, or dependent child or grandchild who are not traveling with you today. Will your family resettle to Canada in the future? Yes, I want them to join me in Canada as soon as possible. I see. Did you tell the government about your family during your first interview before you traveled here? Yes. When I applied, I told the Canadian visa officers about my family's situation, and they explained the process of reuniting me with a partner, spouse, or dependent child or grandchild. I heard this program is called the One Year Window Program. I am hoping that I will reunite with my brothers soon. But I realize it may take some time and they are not eligible family members under the one-year window program. It is good that you did that. If you do not tell the Canadian government about your family, it will make it hard to reunite with them in Canada in the future. But it sounds like you followed all the right steps. Oh, good. We have arrived at the immigration desk. We will go talk to the immigration officer. Ali talks to the immigration officer and has his interview. Ali answers all of the immigration officer's questions. Ali tells the officer about his family back home. 
Ali signs the immigration papers. Well, I completed my interview with the immigration officer and signed my permanent resident documents. Thank you for your help. Congratulations. You are now officially a permanent resident of Canada. Very soon, you will be getting your permanent resident card in the mail. Yes, I have to wait until the permanent resident card arrives. Remember, your permanent resident status does not expire, but the card does. So, when your card expires, or if it is lost or stolen, you must apply for a new one. That is good to know. Allow a lot of time for your permanent resident card application to be processed. So, make sure you keep all the documents you receive when you arrive in Canada, as they are very important. Keep them safe, even after you get your permanent resident card. The documents are your proof of residence in Canada. You will also need your card and your documents for other settlement procedures in the future. I will keep my documents safe. As a permanent resident of Canada, you now enjoy many rights. But with these rights also come responsibilities. Did you learn about these in your pre-departure orientation? Yes, I did. I know I can voice my opinion and practice my religion freely. However, I also have to respect the religions, opinions of others, and the human rights of everyone. In the Canadian Orientation Abroad sessions, I learned that I will have access to free basic education and publicly funded health care. You can also own property, but you will have to pay property taxes. I will have to support myself, but I will also have the chance to work or even own a business. And everyone has the right to live in a clean and healthy environment, so I should care for the environment. That is great. It sounds like you understand your new rights and responsibilities. You have many of the same rights as Canadian citizens, except for a few things. Yes, I know I cannot vote in federal elections or apply for some high-level government jobs. And if I am convicted of a serious crime, I may lose my permanent resident status. I must be also physically in Canada a minimum number of days to keep a permanent resident status. Correct. It is also important to note that your legal status as a permanent resident could be negatively affected if you travel back to your country of origin. If you do travel back, when you return, you will be likely to be questioned by immigration officials at a Canadian airport. You should answer truthfully when asked about why you traveled back to your country of origin. Yes, I understand. I will keep this in mind if I decide to travel back there. You are well informed about your permanent residency. Thank you. What is next? Now, we go collect your checked baggage at the baggage claim area. Ali and the airport reception staff member walk over to a large sliding conveyor belt. Many different pieces of checked baggage appear on the conveyor belt. The checked baggage will come out of that area over there and move along on this sliding belt until it gets to us. Then we collect your checked baggage from this moving belt. I see. What color is your baggage? We should make sure that the baggage you take is yours. Baggage often look the same. Uh, I have two big suitcases. Both are dark red and they have light blue ribbons tied to the handles. That is good. Yours should be easy to see because you added an identifying feature. Mm. There it is. I see one of my pieces of baggage. Great. We can pull it off and wait for the other. <clears throat> and here is the other one. <clears throat> here, put them on this baggage cart. That will make it easier to go through the airport. Good idea. <gasps> now that we have all of your baggage, we can go to customs. Great. Ali and the airport reception staff member walk over to the customs area. Ali pushes his cart of checked baggage. Okay, here we are at the customs area. We will meet a customs officer and answer questions about the items you have in your baggage. But do not worry, I will be here to help you the whole time. What kind of questions will they ask me? Customs officers just need to make sure you are not bringing anything illegal into the country. Food, large electronics, 
weapons, drugs, or anything like that. If you want to declare anything or bring money or monetary instruments worth more than 10,000 Canadian dollars into the country, you should declare them at Canadian Customs. Otherwise, you might have to pay a fine or face other penalties in the future. I see. Thank you. Ali and the airport reception staff member walk up to the customs officer. The customs officer greets them. Hello, bonjour. Can I see your declaration card? Mm, it, here it is. Thank you. Merci. The customs officer asks Ali questions. Ali answers them all truthfully. Once the interview is over, Ali and the airport reception staff member speak to each other. All finished? Yes. All right. Are you ready to take your first steps outside and into Canada? I cannot wait. Let us go. Ali and the airport reception staff member exit the airport. It looks like your sponsors are here. I see someone over there holding a sign with your name on it. That is great. Thank you very much for all your help and advice. No problem. And welcome to Canada. Thank you. End of dialogue unit.